Hey guys, today's video will show you a phone conversation that a viewer had with Torrance County Sheriff David Frazee in which he lies and tries to blame everyone except himself for his own actions. He claims in the phone call that I edit videos, which I do to shorten them down to a digestible time frame for viewers. But in this particular case, in the incident with David Frazee, everything I did was live streamed. A live stream can't be edited. It's streamed out to the public in real time with no more than a seven second delay from YouTube. A live stream is as raw and unedited as you can possibly get. But David Frazee, who spent his entire career lying, has no idea how modern technology works and that you can't get away with lying like you used to. Let's listen to the phone call and compare and contrast Frazee's statements with the actual video and official documents. Also, if you have a recording of David Frazee lying to you like he does to everyone else, you can upload it to YouTube and send the link to my email, which is in the description. Okay. Uh, I have already in the past refused to uh, arrest anybody for simply not wearing a mask. In fact, James Freeman was in court without a mask. And I judge told me to arrest him, and I refused. Uh, and I won't, I won't arrest anybody, or have my. And I told my deputy, he will not arrest anybody for, for simply not wearing a mask, because that's there's no law, there's, there's no statute that, that allows that. So uh, anyway, this this lady went in, and uh, the judge asked her to put a mask on, and uh, she waved it in front of him and said, "I got it, but I ain't putting it on." And so uh, the judge said, "Well, you know then." leave the courtroom and see that one or the other and she says no I ain't leaving because she just got obstinate and she got disrespectful and she got uh, uh, just uh, just you know come right obstinate would be a good word okay. so she she got the she got the judge's ire up and the judge had told her now you don't leave the courtroom or you don't put the mask on I'm gonna be forced to put you in for contempt of court. He said, you know, do what you have to do. So, uh, the judge, I wasn't there at the time. Now, her, I know her. She's a personal friend of mine. And her brother had called me to come down and try to help her because he heard she was in this bind. And that's how I got down there, uh, trying to help her. And I, I was in the, when I got there, she had already been charged by the judge and put back with my deputy who was back talking to her, not in handcuffs, but we were just talking to her. And so I thought, well, let's go see if we can't mitigate this. And I had the lieutenant go in and talk with the judge and uh, try to see what we can do. And, and uh, the judge was pretty adamant about, she, she was disruptive. She interrupted the whole court and he's gonna charge her with contempt. So uh, we don't have any choice. The judge charged her with contempt and uh, was already arrested by the court. All we had to do was transport, and we were obligated under law to do that. So we transported her down to the jail. And in the meantime, the judge had talked to somebody uh, for some guidance. He's, he's a relatively new judge. He talked to somebody, and they told him, well, look, uh, we think you probably made your point by just having her arrested. Now send an order down there and have her released. By the time the deputy got her down to the jail, the jail already had a release order for her, so they processed her in and then processed her out. She's there maybe an hour, and she's gone. Uh, no, sir, I, I don't wear the mask. I don't believe in the mask, and I won't arrest anybody for a mask. It was not the mask at all that had anything to do with her going to jail. Um, I've not been jabbed. I'm not going to get the jab. And... I'll stand up for anybody's constitutional rights, and if I think the judge is out of bounds, uh, I will not, uh, I, I did it here in district court. I got the judges upset with me here, but I'd certainly do it in magistrate court. But the problem is I saw her being obstinate in court. I saw her being disrespectful in court. And so the, the warrant or the, the judge's order wasn't a warrant, it was a contempt of court warrant um, order, uh, was for being obstinate and contempt of court it had nothing to do with the mask except she that was the initial thing that drew attention to her before she started off on her little tirade so it did have something it did have something to do with the mask you're saying but not it, it wasn't everything to do with it it's, it's really more the fault of uh 
a neophyte judge that really didn't know what he was doing. And I, I, I that... think you're right. I think he was, he's green. I, I, in fact, I went to him afterwards and I asked him, I said, look, judge, you know, uh, we need to work together on this thing. Uh, why? My, my reasoning is this. If you want us to go to all that trouble to take her down there for you, then you release, why, why release her immediately? Either keep her in the full day, like you said, the order said, or don't do it at all. Right. And uh, and he said, uh, well, I talked to a colleague, and my colleague said that he thought maybe just putting her in handcuffs, taking her down, was enough to get the point across. And uh, we didn't need to keep her longer than that. I had second thoughts, so he released her. And I said, well, that really puts me in a bad spot. So, uh... Yeah, and definitely. And that, the only the judge a little at odds now. Yeah, I can understand that. One one question I would have though is, on on a video that I saw, you you actually said, and I quote, "You're arresting her for not wearing a mask." So I did. I did. So why, and, and, why would you say that if that was not why she was being arrested? Uh, and I'll tell you why. And I, you know, I have to apologize. I was wrong. Uh, that guy, Mr. Freeman, I don't know if you've seen some of the other videos he'd done, but I mean, the man was in my face. That's no excuse. I shouldn't have done it. And I'm, I'm owning up to it. But he, he had me so damn agitated. And he had asked me about 20 times in a row, are you resting for a mask? Are you resting for a mask? Are you resting? You, and, and telling me, not asking me, but telling me, you're arresting her for a mask. And I had explained to him so many times. He knew. He knew what the story was, but he's trying to get views. And so finally, I, I lost it. I just said, yeah, we're arresting her for a damn mess. Now, get away from me. Uh, yeah, that's certain to backfire on James Freeman. I mean, nobody's going to watch his videos anyway, right? Well, they all do. Oh, yeah. wow. So anyway, uh, it, it, uh, you know, I, I have apologized to others. I've had a bad sort of correcting the record, I suppose. Um, and and I'm, I'm sure you do support the, the people's right to call and, and, and redress their grievances with you and the rest of the county government, right? Sure, I do, and that's the reason I'm trying to call back to everybody that's left the message. I got a bunch of them, and I'm, I'm working my way down the list. That's why I'm late calling you, because you know, I have a bunch of them before you. Uh, Understood. But no, no. I'm, I'm 100% for, for constitutional rights. I don't wear the mask. I hate the mask. I don't believe in the mask. I've not got jabbed. I'm not going to get jabbed. And, uh, uh, yeah, I, don't, I just don't know what else to say about it. I, I was put in the predicament here um, before. If it had, and I guarantee you this. Had she been quiet in the courtroom and all she did was don't have a mask on, nothing would happen. I, don't, I would refuse to take her, just like I refused to take James the, the day the district court asked me to do it. Understood. Well, you've, uh, you've said quite a lot. I appreciate you calling me back. You answered a lot of questions, even that I did not ask. So I appreciate it. Thank you so much. I, I wanted to clarify. So there were a number of lies told by David Frazee on this one phone call, but the biggest two lies were, one, that Tina Estrada was not arrested for not wearing a mask even though the official court documents say that that's exactly what it was. So either David Frazee is lying or somebody lied on an official court document. Which one is it? The other lie is this little story that he told that can be proven by video. On, on a video that I saw, you, you actually said, and I quote, you're arresting her for not wearing a mask. So, I did. I did. so why, why would you say that if that was not why she was being arrested? Uh, and I'll tell you why, and I, you know, I have to apologize. Uh, I was wrong. Uh, that guy, Mr. Freeman, I don't know if you've seen some of the other videos he'd done, but I mean, the man was in my face. That's no excuse. I shouldn't have done it, and I'm, I'm owning up to it. But he, he had 
me, so then I'm agitated. And he had asked me about 20 times in a row, are you resting for a mask? Are you resting for a mask? Are you resting? You, and, and telling me, not asking me, but telling me, you're arresting her for a mask. And I had explained to him so many times. He knew. He knew what the story was, but he's trying to get views. And so finally I, I lost it. I just said, yeah, we're arresting her for a damn mask. Now, get away from me. So David Frazee has been a cop for over 40 years. He's an old school cop from before the days of cameras where cops would just make up a narrative and nobody questioned it. Even if they did, it was impossible for them to prove that a cop was lying because cops are so honorable. Why would they lie? He doesn't understand how cameras work, let alone how a live stream works. Well, I started live streaming in my car as I pulled into the courthouse parking lot. So every single interaction that I had was streamed to the internet. Let's watch the actual interaction where I approached David Frazee and allegedly, according to him, asked and told him about 20 times that he arrested someone for not wearing a mask. And under a Kemper floor, she has to be disorderly. Are you going to take a picture of this or not? I took a picture. You're going to arrest someone for not wearing a mask? She's going to jail, buddy. She's going to jail, buddy. For not wearing a mask? For not wearing a mask. Well, good for you. Aren't you a coward piece of liar? And he had asked me about 20 times in a row, are you resting for a mask? Are you resting for a mask? Are you resting? You, and, and telling me, not asking me, but telling me, you're arresting her for a mask. So many of David Frazee's lies are completely arbitrary. He lies about things that he doesn't even need to lie about. It really wouldn't have mattered if I asked him 20 times or the two times that I actually asked him. It just shows that Torrance County Sheriff David Frazee seems to be completely incapable of telling the truth, both about things that matter and about things that don't. And this is just one phone call. In the next phone call, which will be covered in the next video, David Frazee tells the caller that his deputies didn't actually even arrest anyone. Yeah, seriously. There's absolutely no editing that anyone could do on any video anywhere that would make David Frazee look worse than raw footage of David Frazee lying. We're not going to enforce any mask mandate in the courtroom or anywhere else. Okay? Just so you know, I, I appreciate that, Sheriff. Let me, let me just say this. We're not going to enforce any mask mandate in the courtroom or anywhere else. Okay? Just, Just so you know, know Sheriff. I, I appreciate that, Sheriff. You going to arrest someone for not wearing a mask? She's going to jail, buddy. She's going to jail, buddy. For not wearing a mask? For not wearing a mask. Well, good for you. Aren't you a coward piece of sh Contact information for the Sheriff's Department is in the description below.